everybody and welcome back to Ars Trends. My name is Corey and in today's video uh, we've got we've got something that's been in the making for quite a while. If you've already seen the title and the thumbnail, you know what's coming. I left, I sadly left y'all hanging at part one which is quite a while ago but today we're gonna be running my grandfather's 259E for the very first time. Now I've been so busy with so many other things going on, I haven't really had time to get too much video making. If you've seen my uh, activity on the channel, it's been pretty low because I had a lot of other stuff going on. So I'm really sorry about that, but we're gonna start getting some more content out soon. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun and what better way to kick things off with the first, the first run of the 259E that I've ever seen. I've never seen this thing run before ever, so. Anyways, for those who need a recap for Christmas as a late Christmas gift since the mail wasn't exactly on time, my aunt had gave me my grandfather's very first Lionel locomotive, which he got in the 30s, which was his Lionel 259E black tin plate steamer. This Lionel train is, I believe, the one that probably got him into trains and collecting Lionel trains, which then very heavily influenced me, and now I am train man at this point. I got railroad things everywhere. So that little locomotive is what started it all because we did not have any family in the railroad industry. So really, I think it all started with that one locomotive there. And like I said before, I've never seen this locomotive run. The, as far as it could run was just about a centimeter because I don't know, the engine would not clock over. It would not move. It would not work at all. The wheel was chipped. It had a lot of other issues with it, so I was never able to see it run, and I had always wanted to see it run. So my train guy, Bill, completely went through this thing and made sure it would come back looking great, but also not replacing or touching much, because I wanted to keep this locomotive as original as possible. So again, I am uh, so pleased to have this locomotive back once again. Uh, it's, it's so good to see it, you know, after wondering where it went for so many years, being like, you know, I wonder whatever happened to Grampy's 259, you know, so got it back. So Aunt Linda, I know you're probably watching this. Thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much that you and your side of the family are willing to part with something as special as this and give it over to me, the train kid. Yeah, but I hope you know that I will take very good care of this locomotive. I love it so much. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It means so much to me. So anyways, Let's watch this thing roll! 